Hello friends, welcome to PharmaCam Insights. In this video, we will see some common interview questions and answers on DSC. So let's get started. First question, what is differential scanning calorimetry DSC? So answer is, DSC is a thermal analysis technique used to measure the heat flow associated with phase transitions or reactions in a material as a function of temperature or time. Next question, how does a DSC instrument work? So answer is, DSC measures the difference in heat flow between a sample and a reference as they are heated or held at a constant temperature. The difference reveals thermal transitions such as melting, crystallization or glass transition temperature. Next question. What are the types of DSC? So there are two main types of DSC. First is power compensation DSC where the temperature of both the sample and reference is controlled independently and heat flux DSC where both are heated by the same heat source and the difference in heat flow is measured. Next question. What is the significance of the baseline in DSC? So answer is the baseline represents the heat flow when there are no thermal events. Any deviation from the baseline indicates an endothermic or exothermic event in the sample. Next question. What types of materials can be analyzed by DSC? So answer is DSC can analyze polymers, metals, ceramics, pharmaceuticals, food and biological samples to study properties like melting points, crystallization temperature and glass transition temperature. Next question, what is the glass transition temperature Tg? The glass transition temperature is the temperature at which an amorphous material transitions from a hard glassy state to a soft rubbery state. How does DSC help in determining the purity of a sample? So answer to this question is DSC can determine the purity by analyzing the melting behavior. The presence of impurities causes melting point depression and the heat flow related to melting can provide a purity estimate. Next question. What is the difference between endothermic and exothermic process in DSC? So answer is endothermic processes absorb heat example melting causes the DSC curve to go upward while exothermic processes releases heat example crystallization causing the curve to go downward. Next question. What is the melting point in DSC analysis? The so answer is the melting point is determined as the temperature at which the sample's crystalline structure breaks down causing a significant endothermic peak in the DSC curve. Next question, what is the crystallization temperature in DSC? The so answer is the crystallization temperature Tc is the temperature at which a material transitions from an amorphous or liquid state to a crystalline state shown as an exothermic peak in the DSC data. Next question, how does DSC help in studying polymeric materials? So answer is DSC helps in studying polymer transitions such as glass transition, crystallization and melting behavior, it is also useful in assessing polymer stability and purity. Next question, what are the typical heating rates used in DSC experiments? So answer is, typical heating rates range from 1 degree Celsius per minute to 20 degree Celsius per minute. The rate is chosen based on the type of material being analyzed and the specific thermal events of interest. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डी एस सी एंड थर्मोग्रेवेमेटिक एनालिसिस दैट इज टी जी ए सो डिफरेंस बिटवीन टी जी एंड डी एस सी इज डी एस सी मेजर्स हीट फ्लो रिलेटेड टू थर्मल इवेंट्स वाइल टी जी ए मेजर्स द चेंज इन वेट ऑफ ए मटेरियल हैज इट इज हीटेड यूजली टू एनालाइज डिकम्पोजिशन और लॉस ऑफ वॉलेटाइल कंपोनेंट्स next question what is the significance of enthalpy in dsc enthalpy measured during transitions like melting or crystallization reflects the amount of heat absorbed or released it provides quantitative information on the energy changes during phase transitions next question how do sample size and pen type affect dsc results so answer is the sample size and type of pen used in dsc such as open closed or seal can influence heat flow and thermal events using a larger samples or a different pen type may change the sensitivity or sharpness of transitions next question what are some common applications of differential scanning calorimeter in the pharmaceutical industry in pharmaceuticals dsc is used for studying polymorphism purity drug excipient compatibility thermal stability and the optimization of formulation and processing conditions next question how is calibration performed in dsc so answer is calibration of dsc is done using standard reference materials with known melting points and heat capacities such as indium or zinc to ensure accurate temperature and heat flow measurements next question what is an endothermic event in dsc an endothermic event absorbs heat from the surroundings producing a peak or upward curve in the dsc plot examples include melting and vaporization next question what is an exothermic event in dsc so answer is an exothermic event releases heat to the surroundings causing a dip or downward curve in the dsc plot crystallization and oxidations are common exothermic processes next question what is the heat capacity and how is it measured using dsc heat capacity is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of a material by 1 degree in dsc it is measured by the difference in heat flow between the sample and reference over a specific temperature range thank you i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe my videos and also give your suggestions in the comment section if you want more videos of this kind bye